Oh, oh wow, look how thick it is. Oh, mate, so thick. Oh, must be so heavy because it's so thick. So I love using these old iPods. Uh, I work self-employed, so my phone gets real busy sometimes. And basically, there's nothing worse than your music fading out, followed by the noise of brrrring or no one can touch you on one of these. I am the one who presses pause. And it is true, I mean, these are thick. I mean, even this old ancient iPhone 5, you know, it can show you that these lads are pretty thick. But if you think this is a thick iPod, then oh boy, are you going to enjoy this video because this is mid-tier. A quick note, this is not an all-encompassing kind of video. You know, there are so many different iPod models and some of them are so similar in thickness, it's just not even worth looking at. Like, different between a fifth and a sixth gen is just the thickness of the top case. That's it, same with the fourth to the third gen. So I've picked out seven notable examples of big ladness throughout the years. All good comparisons should have a control and I'm using the sixth gen. Honestly, these are like the most common iPod and it makes sense. I mean, usually Apple was upgrading their iPods every year, maybe every two years you'd get a whole new generation, whole different looking iPod. They sold these for seven years, all the way up to 2014 you could get a 7th gen, which looks just like this, 80 gigs, which was heaps, like that's a lot of music, even videos. These are so common and they're good iPods, I rate them. So before we move forwards, I want to just do one step backward and acknowledge a thin lad. So this isn't the thinnest iPod, the Nano 7th gen, that takes the cake as thinnest iPod. But I love these little guys. They are so thin and look like, <laughs> don't you talk to me or my son ever again. But you're not here for the thin lad, you're here for the big boys. In sixth place, ironically, the Mini. <laughs> Um, you know, it was small compared to the first ever iPods, at least by percentage and volume and whatnot, but they weren't really that small. Things we did for 6 gigs, the 5.5 gen 80 gigabyte, the best iPod they made, arguably, by, by many, many people. And it's the first in this, as what I call a big chungus pod, meaning they had two thicknesses. You can see the 30 gig versus the 80 gig here because the only way to get more storage was to put double height drives in them. If you want that 80 gigs, that's just what you had to do. In fourth place, the beautiful third gen. So cool, no physical buttons. It's all just touch. Word of warning if you actually want to get one of these cool ones. I mean, they look so, so neato with all these LEDs. But read up on Firewire before you grab one of them because you'll need it. So, in third place, oh, podium finish here. This is a big lad, the big chungus third gen. Oh, 40 gigs, 40 gigs, oh, so much storage. It's <laughs> just so thick, so thick. They're so beautiful and heavy. In second place, the first gen, what? Yeah, the first gen came in second. It is not the winner. Ah, oh, that physical... <laughs> oh my God, it spins. So manky. Yeah, in second place is the first gen. Isn't that nuts? But what? Wait, how can the first gen be in second? That doesn't make any sense. Progress moves forward. What is thicker than the first one they made? What if I told you they made a big chungus one of these? That's right, but they called it the second gen. 20 gigs. Oh, it was worth it. This is... <laughs> This is my regular use, second gen, because I'm sick of dropping my first gen. When you pull one of these out of your pocket, people look, it's just so heavy. But my favorite thing, look at, they didn't keep that font for long. <laughs> That's how you can tell a first from a second gen, but oh wow, it's not thicker by much, but it's thicker by enough. But this isn't even my favorite comparison. It is gotta be the Nano next to the first gen because unbelievably, this guy right here, while only being in second place, has the smallest amount of storage. Five gigs. This lad has eight. <laughs> 
and does video and photos. And with the right headphones, it'll do radio. Oh, and the battery lasts two and a half times longer. That's outstanding. So if the question is, what was the thickest iPod ever made by Apple? It's the gigantic second gen 20 gig Big Chungus edition. There it is. That's the thickest lad they ever made. Shrek.